Hey guys, I'm Rival. Welcome back to the channel. Stanley Cup playoffs finally here. I don't know about you guys, but the regular season, uh, I guess depending who you're a fan of. Me personally, I was I was getting a little bored, man. I'm ready for the playoffs to start. I think playoff hockey, some of the best playoffs you can watch in all the sports. It's so exciting. So I'm happy it's here. What does that mean for Hockey Ultimate Team? We get some new MSPs. We get 96 overalls for Leach, Grubauer, Kyle Connor, and the one I'm excited about, Yager. We take a look at the other menu screens. Let me get myself... Actually, I'm just going to take myself off the screen here because i got to show you a couple things. So, we get 90 overall Stanley Cup playoff cards. Now, these, these are the cards outside the MSPs. These will get upgrades for each additional series win. These cards are actually going to get a plus two in overall for every series that their team wins. So they can go up to a 98 overall. But if they win a Con Smith trophy, they are going to get a 99. Now, although the 99 overall sounds amazing, maximum upgrade of a 98, fantastic. Um, to start at a 90 and only get an overall bump for a series win, a little weird because previous years you get a plus one for each win in that first round so the card would go up to a 94 if they won the series if it went to seven games the loser would at least get a 93 a lot of these cards gonna stay at a 90 so not sure why they did it that way but they did we go to the next screen pretty solid badge of cards the one i would want tarasenko tarasenko always good in hockey ultimate team we also see some elite cards would not mind the oliver ekman larson i need some defense on this team gosh gallery of greats wayne gretzky 25th anniversary of wayne gretzky's last nhl game milestone card jeff carter with a goal with a goal in his final game and then we see a 97 kucherov 100 assist season amazing 97 overall that you know if it if it popped up in a pack would not be disappointed we get transaction cards there we get our live moment cards. You guys might have seen that. Kempe, team of the week. You guys already saw that from Wednesday. Now we go to unopened packs. I got this pack for free. I believe it was for having EA play. This was like a day or two ago. But I got a Mega Players pack. I noticed on the screen it said a pack for $0. So I signed up for that. Um, I think it's EA play because I, I do have EA play on this account on my alternate I did check it out there, which I do not have EA Play, and that pack was not available. So I'm going to open that pack. We'll see what we get. I might do the Ultimate Choice pack. Still not sure, actually. Got to see how I'm feeling once I get there. But we are going to take a look at these cards. Cards will start at 86 overalls. I'll show you that set on how you build them after this. At the 96, Kyle Connor, 6'2", 179, a left-handed winger. He's got three different synergies. Playmaking forward, two-way forward, sniper forward. He's also got a shooting boost, checking boost, playmaking boost, agile dangler boost. He's got puck on a string, elite edges. Again, my favorite in the game, always say that. 1T, unstoppable force, and a zone ability of make it snappy. Big fan of make it snappy. Pair that up with the maxed out shooting. Yikes. He's got maxed out shooting without these synergies. Next up, a goalie in Grubauer. 6'1", 188 pounds, synergies. Looking as so. Not going to help him out, but maybe can help your team out. Superstar abilities. Ooh. Post to post. Butterfly effect. A big fan of that. X-ray showstopper. And also a big fan of that zone ability of light work. I think for a goalie. And I don't know how much it matters, man. But I personally really do like light work. Another defenseman I would not mind if he popped up in the pack, right? 6'1", 190 pounds. Two-way defenseman. Defensive defenseman. Offensive defenseman. He's got a shooting boost and, ooh, look at that, speed boost. Would love that on him. Gosh, go up to a 99. Sign me up. Agile dangler boost, accelerator boost. So whether you want the 99 speed or acceleration, you can have that. Elite edges, wheels, tape to tape, shutdown, and a zone ability of heat seeker. So an offensive defenseman here. That's why you see the, the very high attributes, skating, shooting hands. A little lower for the checking, I guess. 90 body check. But still, you know, that's that's not bad. I really like this card. He is an offensive defenseman, and his abilities do uh, reflect that. But he's also got a shutdown to help out his defense. That's pretty cool. Next up, we have Yager, the one that I would love because he is 6'3", and he is a tank. He is a tank at 254 pounds. He's got playmaking forward, power forward, sniper forward. He's got a checking boost. Need that speed boost. Put him up to a 98. Agile dangler boost, accelerator boost. We got Elite Edges, Puck on a String, Tape to Tape, Make It Snappy, and Unstoppable Force. These bigger guys is these bigger guys this year getting Unstoppable Force. It's 
It's a little unfair, but if I have the card and I put that on, I would be happy. I'd probably put Make It Snappy on too. You know, he's got the maxed out shooting, but gosh, even deadlier then. I'm not going to take a look at all the 90s because there is a lot of them, but the ones I did mention that I would like, Tarasenko, he's 6'1", 228. Synergies, playmaking forward, sniper forward, playmaking forward, shooting boost. We got the one T, the puck on a string, elite edges, and to make it snappy. And the other one I did mention, William Carlson, six foot nothing, 190 pounds, sniper forward, two way forward, shooting boost, speed boost, put that speed boost on. Puck on a string, elite edges, tape to tape, and make it snappy. The same thing for everyone, of course. All the way to the right, you can get one random Stanley Cup playoff player for 70. That, you know what, this, this set scares the heck out of me. It really does. You could be really disappointed. 70's a lot. We go to the collection sets. You can trade in players to get more collectibles. All the way to the right, you can get 30. Holy hell. With two player packs. What do you need, like a 92, 91? Okay. So a 91 overall nets do that. And everyone to the left would be a minus one overall. So we'd get 90s here for 20 of them in four player packs. We would then see an 89 for that. 88, 87, 86, and so on there. And with a new event, you know, every week, you get a new event or week two or something. Along with that comes objectives in which you can get more event collectibles. So this one, if you get all nine of them done, you get two power-up collectibles. And the game really does revolve around power up collectibles. So if you can get these done, terrific. You would also get how many here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you'd get six event collectibles with one, two, three, four. And if you want to count to two, a total of six power up collectibles, not bad. They also added this one right here, Hut Headliners. Can you say that five times? Hut Headliners, Hut Headliners, Hut. It's a little hard, a little difficult. We got eight of them in which do all these you get eight hut headliner if you do choose to get the hut headliner collectibles i mean you got 82 overall power-ups here i guess but i don't know this was like a day one event if you're gonna do anything i'd probably get the power-up collectible trade in five you get that and we go to moments because well every event we get more moments right i've not taken a look at this yet 2023 Las Vegas Knights Stanley Cup run. That sounds like a good time to me. Coins, base pack. Is it worth it? Gold player packs. Two gold player pack. Three gold player pack. More coins. Four gold player pack. You're getting a bunch of gold player packs in this. And all the way at the end, win number 16. Three event collectibles. So all of them only have one moment objective up until number 16. And you guys can break this up in multiple games. A lot of you guys know that already. But just in case you did not know... You know, you can score goals with any player once, seven of them. You can then hop into another game, get the goals with Mark Stone, do another one, get the assist with Jack Eichel. You can break them up. All right, guys, we go to unopened packs. I mentioned the free pack. Pretty sure it's from EA Play. 30 items, all gold players with at least five 80s or better. Ultimate choice pack. Still not sure. All these minutes later, I'm still not sure. If I get something in this pack, absolutely not opening it. I'll probably save it for tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm not trading it in. The the six hut champion collectibles for the power-ups. I refuse. I need to get something out of an ultimate choice pack. It's been so long. This pack, I mean, we're halfway through. We haven't seen a damn thing. Get a Nursey. Amazing. I should have just clicked square. Ripped the band-aid off. Okay. Send out to collection. We jump inside the pack store. We have these three EA Play. Oh, 100% that pack is from EA Play then. I do have this daily event reward pack. This is pretty sweet. Wait a minute. You do have a greater chance at getting an uh, amazing card. But regardless, Stanley Cup playoff collectible, I'll take it. But to get a power up MSP, pretty difficult I'd imagine. Pretty difficult. What else we got here? 200k for a Stanley Cup playoff choice pack. Pack probabilities. A 9.2 for a 95 or better. 33 for a 90 or better. A 57 for an 86 or better. Imagine paying 200k and falling in that 43%. You don't even see a purple. 
100K for a Stanley Cup playoff pack. You know what I'll do? Let's cut a deal. Let's cut a deal. I'm going to open this sucker. I'm going to have to do some discarding. I'll open this up today and do an ultimate choice back tomorrow. Shake on it. Cool. What else we got here? Well, let me look at the pack probabilities. Hold on. I already shook on it, but... Oh, gosh. I already shook on it already. Playoff starter pack. This one's untradeable. Screw that. You get 10 items. Guaranteed random Stanley Cup power-up player, I guess. Two power-up collectibles. I just hate hate untradeables, that's all. But you do get a power-up in it. Nah, still not worth it. 40k for a playoff mix pack. What else we got here? Elite puck drop pack. And that's the pack market. All right, well, we shook on it. I'm here. I did my discarding. I have 100k for the Stanley Cup playoff pack. Again, the pack gods looking as though not great. 2.9% chance at a 95 or better. Would love that. Absolutely would love that. Give me the Kucherov. Give me a, a damn MSP. I don't know. 11% chance for a 90 or better. 22 for an 86 or better. Oh, gosh. Probably going to regret it. I have 86 overalls on my line 3 defense. I probably could have upgraded that. I probably could have. But for the video, I don't care. Just do it. Just do it. 85 Matthews Purple! Well, hey, hey, I hope you enjoy your weekend. I don't know. I think, you know what? I think they went in there and did something to my account at this point. They had to because this is getting a bit ridiculous. I'm going to come back tomorrow. I'm going to do the ultimate choice back. EA, you have 24 hours to fix whatever's going on here. Uh, ultimate choice back tomorrow. I need something. I'm out of here. Peace out.